This is the house and park that we wanted to visit today. It's called West Wickham Park, but unfortunately it's closed. I hope you can see it. Such a shame. Hi everyone. Hello. So Yoke and I are on our way to Portsmouth and we wanted to stop here in West Wickham Park and House in Buckinghamshire. But unfortunately, the house is closed. Yeah, so it's only going to be West Wickham yes. Village. Yes, the historic village. And we checked when we went to bed last night, we checked again and it said, well, they seem to have closed down the house and park last minute. No, we, we don't know why. No, we think due to illness. It, what it, it's what it said um, on, on the website. And all of this once belonged to the Dashwood family. And yeah, so it's not the Dashwood family from Jane Austen. No, not, not the Jane Austen family from Sense and Sensibility. But who knows, maybe it was an inspiration for her to use the name for her novel. Yeah, because in the 18th, 19th century, the Dashwoods were very famous. Yes. And well known. Yes, and we're standing here. It's called West Wickham Hill, isn't it? Yeah. I think. And yeah, the Dashwood family even has a mausoleum and this is where we are now and let's check out the village I think it's very nice everything is now owned by the National Trust and I think there are some very lovely old houses and cottages yeah let's see and as you can see it's very hot so not rainy at all <laughs> And Jörg, you just said you instantly recognized it from what? The importance of being earnest. Yes, with Rupert Everett, which is such a wonderful yeah, film. It's such a funny film. Thank you. 
it's so hard to film here. West Wycombe Village is basically just the high street and it's super busy. We stopped here at Clifton House and for one this is a luxurious country house hotel. I think Jörg and I should put it on our list to stay here at least for one night and the grounds and gardens belong to the National Trust and until last night we had no clue that we would actually be coming but since West Wickham Park is closed and it's only about a 10 minute drive from there we thought it would be such a great idea to stop and have a look around but I remember the house very well from Prince Harry's wedding to Meghan Markle. I think Meghan Markle stayed here for one night and then got ready for the wedding and left for Windsor Castle from here. I don't know the name of these plants, but I simply adore them. Are you hungry? Yeah. What have you got? And I have a jacket potato with tuna and mayo and a lemonade because it's pretty hot outside. Beautiful house, isn't it? I think it looks very nice. Yeah, and if you think, it's the third house they built here. Yeah. So the first one was built in 1666 and burnt down. The second one had the same fate. And this is the third, so, and it was built 1850. Yes, and I think it was bought in 1893 yeah. by William Wall of Astor. And was given to his son as a wedding gift. Yeah, to his a son. A small house as a wedding gift. Yeah, and they entertained a lot of famous people, Winston Churchill, George Lloyd, and well, now it's a hotel. And you know what? Parts of it remind me a little bit of Chatsworth. Yeah, the upper part. Yes, the style is so similar and I think it's a lovely place. The story of the first house is interesting as well. It was built in 1666 by the second Duke of, of Buckingham as a gift to his mistress, the Countess of Shrewsbury. Two years later, her husband heard of the affair and challenged the Duke to a duel and got fatally injured. Unfortunately, we can't see the River Thames. We're just down there 
and we don't have time to go there but it would be lovely because because you can actually hire a boat and enjoy the views well you get a tiny glimpse of the Thames here We are a little bit tired now. We arrived in Portsmouth at our hotel, which is a tiny hotel, only has six rooms, and it's called. Yeah, okay. you, you spotted dog. Yeah, you yes. spotted dog. Very old building, and we're staying in the China room. And this is the room, which is very nice, I think. And we can hopefully film the, the small hotel and the courtyard later for you. <laughs> yeah, is tired. But we have a lovely tea and coffee station. And a little bathroom. Where's the light switch? Ah, oh, it's here. <laughs> this is the house from from the outside, and it's very old. Circa from around 1523 and there was an assassination in this house. George Villiers, or however he is pronounced, Duke of Buckingham, was assassinated by John Felton in 1628. And this is where we have fish and chips and the great thing is they only sell gluten-free fish and chips yeah, which, is really good. which is very handy and it was very nice too we are in South Sea and this here is part of the D-Day Museum yeah it's a landing craft mm -hmm. which they used to land in the Normandy yes So that's ice cream from gelato. What is it? Is it strawberry? Strawberry and cream. That's you just had fish and chips. Yeah. <laughs> and what you see from here is the Isle of Wight. And 
I think, yeah, the the Hoovercraft starts from here. Yep. And there are also other ferries, which you can see here, car ferries and everything, and it's not far at all. So I'm tired now, and I'm going to bed. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> you sound, you sound cranky. <laughs> I am cranky, I'm tired. I'm like a little baby now. <laughs> You know what, I'm really tired as well. Um, again, we do so much walking, I think, although I'm not sure it's very warm in here, so we'll see how the night will be. Good night. <laughs> Lighting in here isn't the best, but that's fine. And this is what my hair looks like now. <laughs> so, as Jörg said, we're taking a shower now, or are using the tub, and then we're going to bed, and then you will see what we're up to next. So stay tuned, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye.